So initially when you are constructing a cabinet, for example, you go to a door, you apply a door, I am applying 11 exit door. So once you are applied, you can, if you go to material management, here, so initially there will be no material. So when you want to apply material, you can notice there is no panel of the shutter or door mentioned anywhere in the panel management. So you can apply the material for remaining panels, but there is no option for applying the uh, material for the door panel. So in this case, I'll just also apply the edge banding to this carcass. So I'll apply only on the visible sides and apply only type this one and click OK. So here we can see the edge banding is not available and we are not able to apply material for the door. The same way <coughs> I'll delete the door and, and I will what I'll do is I'll put a partition and I'll put a drawer box. So that I will divide the zone into two equal parts. I go to zone, I will divide here and I will divide here. Now I will put a drawer box, I will select the model, for example, just a drawer, I will leave 13 for the drawer channel gap and 5 amount tolerance on upper and lower side and click apply here. So here the drawer box is ready. Now I'll put a drawer fascia. Here and a door above. So here in the material management, as I said, we were not able to add any material for, uh, material for the drawer boxes or drawer fronts or the doors. This is because these are library related elements so we should go to library and apply the edge banding there so i'll show you how so to before that i'll just show uh, generate the cutting list for this and show you why there is no material being taken so here if i see the preview we can see this structure draw the for the drawer boxes there is no metal being taken for panel there is panel this panel is nothing but the drawer fascia yeah, panel to write there is no material being taken so this is because and we can also see the thickness of the door as 20 so if we want to change it to 18 uh, we should go to the library and customize so i'll be saying that in the later part of this video and coming to drawer box also we can see the thickness of the drawer box is 20 and as 15 and the bottom panel as 5 mm so this all should be changed to say, to change that what you should do is i'll say this project and what you should do is you should go to open you should go to the uh, the path is c disk program file 86 spazio 3d archives to change the door model click on doors we are usually using leon exit door and for changing the door model you must follow the code w followed by six zeros click open so this is the default door that the software gives. Now to change the thickness, double click on the door, go to furniture door, go to properties. Here we can change the thickness. So here we'll change it to 18, again to 18 and type instead of if you want to change to internal or related, you can change it here and click OK. It will ask this warning, so okay, click OK and then click apply, click OK. So now the thickness is changed from 20 to 18. Now coming to edge banding, we cannot go to cabinet edge and apply edge banding or go to go go to panel management directly here. Instead of that, we should go to the panels and we here we should go to panel management. So this is our door. Click on the panel, click enter. Here we'll be able to add the edge banding for the door. In this case, I'll apply 2mm edge banding on all sides. And we'll go to material. We also add the material. So if you, uh, since I'm using 18 mm board, I'll use 18 mm material. Click apply. Click OK. Now we can see the edge banding is there and the material is being applied. Now instead of saving it, we, what we can do is to create a new door. 
click on save as go to splash view archives doors lay on external door and we can save it in any code but you should remember the code because we will search it by that code for example if you are saving my code called as um, hgf something like that so you should remember this code and save so now the no, new door is created now if you want to create a new new cabinet for example i'll go to new cabinet here i'll create a cabinet and apply the material enable and i'll apply it and apply walnut set all and let's change the back panel to 8 mm i want to edge bending i will apply edge bending only on the visible sides enable only on the visible sides i will apply this edge bending itself click okay now when you are applying door coming to door I'll click on the so I'll select the model. Here we must enter the code. So I copied that code later. So you should remember in your case, I'll place and click enter. So you'll get that particular role and click apply. So here we can see we are getting edge banding for the door also. I'll do zone offset. So we are getting the door offset and with edge banding. So now when we generate the cutting list okay we can see the material is being applied to all the panels including the door now also we notice the thickness is also 18 panel to the right is nothing but the door door panel the thickness is 18 and the material also we is also being applied so this is how we modify the door the same way to customize the drawer fascia So the draw code for drawer fascia is D D zero for D followed by six zeros. You should select this one and you should edit and save it as with your own new name. So this is the way you customize draw doors and drawer fascia. So in the same way to customize the drawer boxes, we can go to open. Go we should go to archives drawer boxes. Select any type of drawer box. If you want to customize uh, structure drawer, go to structure drawer, open. So in this case, we can, we should not go to panel management. We can directly go to cabinet edit. Go to cabinet edit. Go to edit. We can change the thicknesses to eighteen. I'll change to eighteen. And if you want to change the back panel thickness to eight, you can change to back panel thickness eight. confirm and go to material management so you can add the materials after adding the materials click okay now you can save as and you should save it in again in archives and go to drawer boxes and rename it as in your own customized name so this box will be present in the drawer box list for example i'll create a new cabinet Start. I'll create a new project. I'll go to new cabinet edit. So now, if I want to add drawer box to this carcass, I'll go to drawer box. So if I drop down, you can see our drawer box R E Q is present in the drawer box list. In this way, you can customize drawer fascia, draw doors, drawer boxes. So when you generate in the cutting list, you will get the box with the uh, exact thickness you need. so this is the way to customize the library elements such as, such as that is the doors drawer fascia and the drawer box